Hey guys, William Retro here, or King Carrington, and welcome back to another video. So guys, uh, which side's the camera? That side, that side, okay. Um, hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you a, a little tutorial on how to fix a Samsung Galaxy Tab A when it's in a boot loop. Now, boot loops are very common, and they can happen if you either um, throw the tablet, <laughs> damage it in any way, uh, water damage, using it too much so it overheats, and downloading um, viruses um, it can happen a lot but it can be fixed but you gotta take some sacrifices to fix it but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a few ways a few ways which don't work and a few ways which will work so the first way is we're gonna go onto a menu which we'll find on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A now what you're gonna do it's very hard to actually do to be honest you gotta click these two buttons you're going to click the um, power button and the volume up button at the same time and you're also going to click the home button at the same time as well so you're clicking these two at the side and the home button at the exact same time and then after a few maybe five to ten seconds the galaxy tab a will decide it's going to show you a little menu so I accidentally let go then, I shouldn't have let go. Okay. So it's really hard to do. And it's supposed to be because this menu is like the last resort if your tab A is, you know, faltering like this. So this is what will come up. It will say installing system update. Now this installs a little um a little menu onto your tab A. Um, which comes with a bunch of options to shut down uh, factory reset and things like that so I'm just going to show you it's going to stay on that screen for a while then it will turn to another screen very shortly there it is and it says no no command now it says no command because it thinks you're trying to plug in a separate thing like a separate machine which would um, boot a command into the Samsung Galaxy Tab A telling it to do something and after a few more seconds it should um, go into a new menu uh, you should give it a minute because it does take a while because it's it, it's trying to figure out what right here it is so it's trying to figure out what you're actually trying to do now this menu may look very interesting I'm gonna plug out the tab A because you can do that and it will come up with this now this menu is very interesting and to move around in this menu, you're going to use the up and down buttons on your volume. And then the power button is to select something. Now, at the top, it will say reboot system now. That does not work. That will just put you back into the boot loop. Reboot the boot to loader. I don't know what that one does. And it's going to apply update to the ADB. You don't need to apply an update. Apply an update to the SD card. Uh, we don't want to do that either. Um, wipe data factory reset that is last last resort and I mean that's last last resort because that will remove everything on the internal storage on your galaxy tab a so if you have any photos or videos or apps well I mean it depends really if you have any photos or videos which you want to keep put them in your SD card if you don't want to if you if you any apps you can reinstall the apps but if you want to like keep progress on any apps you put that in your SD card and then we got wipe catch and um, partition we don't want to do that and then there's some more saying view recovery logs now I'm going to click on that one and as you can see it will come up with a bunch of these weird logs and they're they all to do with different recovery um recovery things which you can do and you can um, review the files but we don't need that so then we have a runner graphics test and power off. Now power off will just turn off the tablet completely. I haven't tried that yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the power off button at the bottom. And uh, you also can swipe, you can swipe through the menu as well using your finger of course. But uh, I find that quite annoying. So we're going to click the power off button right here. Well no, we're going to click the power off button to t turn the power off. So we click that and as you can see it will run a little code and it will turn off the tablet. Now, it won't, it won't, of course, try and turn on again, as you can see, but we're going to try and turn it on. So, we're just going to click the power button, hold it down, let go, and we're going to see if it turns on. Exactly, it doesn't turn on. 
You gotta hold it down for five seconds. And now it will turn on. Because it, it thinks you're just powering off the Samsung Tab A completely to, I don't know, do some maintenance check or something. So we're gonna wait for the tablet to, of course, um, see what it does. I don't know what it does when we do this. Okay, so as you can see, the Samsung Tab A is turning on, which is very interesting. So that's how you fix it, I suppose. So if you're stuck in a boot loop with your Tab A, see a generic person like me who doesn't know what he's doing can fix. Is it? It's not. Wait. I thought I was right. Okay. So it looks like the Tab A is stuck in a boot loop. <sighs> okay. So, final resort. As you can see, the Tab A has moved on to this stage of its booting up. So you powered it off and it's decided we're going to go to the Samsung part now. So it's it's nearly there. It's it's getting there. It's trying to boot itself up but it just can't quite get there because there's either something wrong with the motherboard, it might be water damage to the board, something like that. So we're going to have to factory reset this tablet. So once again, we're going to click the power button and the volume button, um, upper volume button and the home button. So once again, I'm going to try and use both my hands here. It's very hard to record this, I'm really sorry. I'm recording it on my Samsung Galaxy J6. Okay, so we're holding them down again. Got to wait for that blue menu. Oh, I let go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wait again. Uh, Got to wait, wait, wait. Come on, Samsung. We don't have all day. Come on. Oh, it's taking longer than usual. Okay, I'm gonna try. It. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. It. I'm gonna try just um facing me because it is easier. So I'm gonna press all these buttons. Okay, there we go. Press them all. Ah, there we go. We're on it. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna wait again. It's gonna say installing system update. It doesn't mean anything. It's not doing anything. It's it's just initially trying trying to fix itself. But it can't. It can't fix itself. So these tablets are about I don't know eight years old maybe. They are quite old tablets. So, um, I would I would definitely expect them to be breaking a lot at this point. So of course no command. Of course we have given it no commands to do anything. We're gonna wait, and then we're gonna try the factory reset. Now I have a lot of stuff on this tablet. I know that for a fact. And most of it's on my SD card, and a lot of it is on my internal storage. But, I mean, it's not a lot of stuff. I mean, I can reinstall apps and all that. And I mean, that's the beauty of it. Okay, so we are back. We're back onto the menu. Okay, so we're back on here. We want to go down, and let's go to down to the uh, wipe data slash factory reset. Now, you can keep your SD card in, but just in case, if it may wipe the micro SD card, I would take it out. So as you can see, you got a little thing here. It pops out. And I'm going to press in into the SD card and it's going to pop out. I'm going to press in. You'll hear a little click and it'll pop out. There's the SD card. I'm going to put it down here. Okay, now we can close that. As you can see, nothing will, nothing will happen. Uh, it's dead, it stayed on the end thing. I'm going to click the power button and boom. It says there, wipe all user data. This cannot be undone. We're going to go down and click yes, and it's going to run the command, and it will reset, i guessing, I don't know. It might show a few commands on here. Okay. So it says wiping data, formatting data, formatting cache, set to factory data, reset done, date wipe complete. So now the um, all the data is wiped, we're going to go back up. And we're going to reboot system now. I'm going to click that. And that's going to rebooting the system. And it will eventually bye bye off that menu. And it should reset the tablet. Okay so we got this screen. We're getting somewhere. Now I'm hoping. I'm really hoping this turns on. Because <laughs> I haven't got anything off this off the internet. I This is all coming from me. This is my knowledge on. You know. Me messing around with my tablet. Okay so we got to the Samsung part. That's good. We're getting there. All I'm hoping for now is it goes on the screen where you've set up your tablet. That's what I'm hoping for. 
Come on. Come on. It's it, it's 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 taking its time. It's taking its time. And I think that's a good thing because I think you might be trying to load the uh, the tutorial thing, the little um, account setup which you get at the start of um, every um, tablet which Samsung make. Come on, you can do it, Samsung. All you gotta do is boot up my tablet and tell me to set it up. So yeah, it takes a long time, guys, but I mean it is worth it because I mean. This tablet's okay. We got a black screen. No, that isn't good. That isn't good. No. Okay. Guys, I am fortunately going to say this, but there is no fix. There's no fix for the boot loop on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. And I'm guessing now my one got into a boot loop because of water damage, I think. Because I did spill something and it did get on the tablet. I wiped it and it was acting fine. But then about five minutes later, it, it went onto the boot loop. It, it cut me off my um my app, which I was on. And it just boot loop straight in. Well, straight away. Straight in there. So, yeah. um, Because that doesn't work, I take your tablet to a Samsung developer. Someone who can help. Because you can't fix it at your home. Now, if you have a different tablet like this where you can take the battery out, I would take the battery out and get a new battery. Because mostly for these problems, it's the battery and how it just can't load. But anyway, guys, it's been William Renshaw. Um, for all my fans out there, I won't be doing jump shot streams or any videos for a while, I suppose. Ladies and gentlemen... I think it's doing something. This is a completely new screen and it is in French. So I'm guessing Samsung's downloading everything and it thinks I'm in France, which I'm not sure why. Um, uh, <laughs> Samsung, yeah. Okay, so it is doing something. I don't know what it's doing. But, but it's not boot looping, which is a good sign. Now, I think this sign comes up when you're first getting your tablet. I'm pretty sure. Because this is like when it all like downloads everything onto the tablet, which is like all new. Pretty sure that's what it says. It says, Demarage de Android and Cure. Optimization de application. So, I think optimization... So it's optimizing the apps. So I'm guessing it's putting apps onto the tablet, which it knows and remembers from. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know what it remembers it from. But we have we have our SD card here. Don't worry. There's all the data which I've saved. About I don't know what's it. How many gigabytes? Sixteen. And and I think there's about sixteen gigabytes of data stored on there. So sixteen gigabytes saved. Another fifteen or fourteen gigabytes lost. Okay, so we're nearly there. It's nearly loaded. And there we go. 245, sir. 245. So, I don't know what happens now. I'm, I'm honestly clueless because I've never seen this screen. Oh, it's froze. Okay. It's black. And I see, I see the charge. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you fix the Samsung Galaxy Tab A from a boot loop. Whoa. Okay, so we're onto this screen now. This is where you set up your tablet and it's in French. Now, there's a little language thing there. You can change that and I'm going to change it right now. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the UK. Well, uh, I don't know. I know. No, no, it's in it's English. Okay. English United Kingdom. Okay. There we go. So it's welcome start. So I've st I'm starting the tablet. I've clicked the start button. Okay, so it's connecting me to a Wi-Fi. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm not going to show you the password because I know some of you live around here. And I don't want you really stealing my Wi-Fi. And I don't think you know where I live, so that's good. It's a good start. I'm going to connect. Okay. So it's connecting my Wi-Fi there. 
Okay, it says connected, no internet. It should say connected. There we go. Okay, so we click next at the bottom. We've clicked next. Okay, terms and conditions. Just agree to all of the conditions, guys. It's it's nothing that's going to harm your tablet. It's just Samsung, you know, making sure you agree with their terms. Okay, so it is checking for updates. This may take a minute or two. So it's going to check for updates. It's going to make sure the tablet's up to date with everything on newer devices because it's, a, it's of course, an older device. And it will have to have all the new Samsung updates put onto it before it even can boot up. So it's going to take a minute or two. I'm just going to place my tablet down there. Um, yeah, guys. So that's how you fix it. It's just... It can be that simple sometimes, really. Just going onto there, wiping the data. Then, you know, booting it up. Waiting for it to, you know, do its thing. So let me just quickly go through a shortened version now, I'm going to put how to do it in the description as well. Just a little short description, you know, because this might get boring because this is like a 16-minute video right now. So, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to click all the buttons, the power button, the volume button, and the home button. Hold them down, and you wait for the um, Android to come up saying installing system update. Then it will say no command. After that, it will bring you up to a menu, and on that menu, there will be different little... Um, what do you want to call them? Different little um, commands you can do. You're going to wipe and factory reset the tablet. And after you've done that, you will re re reboot the system. And after you've rebooted the system, you're going to wait about a minute or two until it comes up on the starting interface. And it's going to load up all the apps, and then you can redo your tablet. See, it's asking for my Google account now. I'm going to put that in. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. I hope this has helped a lot of people because, I mean, I've, I've, I've literally been looking through videos myself. I haven't used any of the um, things because they're all, like, opening up the tablets and stuff because it's all really old stuff. But, you know, it just goes to show that anyone can fix their tablet. I mean, I could fix my tablet and I'm a stupid little boy.